The protest to end SARS and police brutality has been ranging on in the country for over a week now. So many lives have been lost and properties destroyed in the process. Edo State has also had its own fair share of bad experiences and sadness due to the influence of hoodlums and trigger-happy police men who took it upon themselves to shoot at peaceful and innocent protesters. The youth who are still very en enraged happened to come about an helicopter that landed right in Oluku Edo State this morning and are demanding its mission there or else they would seize the helicopter. A video which has gone viral on social media showed the youth clamoring round the white helicopter while we could hear the cameraman's voice in the background. The cameraman demanded to know what made the helicopter land there and what the policemen came to look for in Uluku. He wondered if they, if they come if they came to observe the area. This young man's fear is understandable because of the high level of insecurity in the nation, especially at this time. Here are some of the reactions of fellow Nigerians to the video of the seized helicopter. Well, Miss Road, wow, <clears throat> I doubt it. Make they, make they put fire for Ramo. Hmm. Edo don't they do pass data. Deathans gather here. Let's shock them. Well, like Edo people, I like Edo people who not too much. Federal government don't buy markets. Okay, Edo to the world. My Edo people. Hmm. Make una quick burner mo. Na government oh no. Burner sharply sharply. Why the helicopter always challenging my Edo people? Based on flying things. Oh my goodness, this one is interpreting it to spiritual thing. Okay, they didn't miss any road. Nigeria wise up. Nigeria wise up. They didn't miss any road. Their mission will not be accomplished. You guys should keep it. We need it for relief purposes. The re okay, Edo people be doing magic now to let some uh, to set them ablaze be the next thing. Are you sure or you think yeah, that is the right thing to do? And of course, we are going to be hearing from the government. Oh, they will begin to tell you something or something, something, something. Of course, everybody is going to be, it's going to, everybody is just very, very at a last. Everybody is suspecting everything. Before now, no security. The people that are supposed to take care of us see what they are doing. And they are telling us that they, know, they don't know anything about it. Somebody who says uh, is overwhelmed or is uh, the whole situation is beyond him it's supposed to just jelly resign just jelly what resign and we are hearing that even channel television is off some people have been talking about if internet goes off then how do people go about it and mcn was even apologizing this morning they apologize this morning oh they are sorry because when this whole thing happened people even at the at the ground yesterday at the rally ground the protest ground a lot of people could not even get access to the to other people because of network and they were giving excuses everything just went down the government or the government or the governor telling us that uh, uh, he doesn't know the governor doesn't know anything about this whole thing he's overwhelmed he needs to explain to the people that really put him there why did they put off the light there why did they put off the um camera that were there why did they put them on and you are telling us you know nothing. And you are, now we are seeing this kind of a thing. They don't want everybody. Everybody has heard what happened in Lagos. Nobody wants to take chances. Nobody wants to take chances. Well, now to set up for fire, and I be the next thing. That's what someone is encouraging. Network and internet are failing. Please download VPN as soon as possible. Like seriously? Yeah, some people have been saying that if network goes off VPN as soon as possible. If they leave this youth to do what is on their mind. Yeah, I swear, this government uh, won't see next day. This is just the beginning. Hello, people. How did you guys do it? Please come and teach us in Lagos. Uh, inside all this wahala, I do just use us catch crews. Okay, <laughs> you think so? 
nobody's going to say it is not true. Of, of course, we could see the video. We saw it live. So this idea of whether they use it to the cash crews is inconsequential. But the most important thing is that nobody is forming this and nobody is making it up. So everybody needs to be careful. We just have to be careful. Oh my goodness, this is really unbelievable how do we go from here where do we go from here those who are supposed to protect lives and properties they are feigning ignorance they are denying i know nothing i don't know any i don't know what is happening oh some of the godfathers now they are not available where have they gone to where have they run to godfathers where will not they those who are clamoring for godfathers i think in another place i saw it one day somebody said oh the aeroplane came to carry um, what is this man name Oshomole, they should seize it. Oshomole is not uh, in that place now. Oshomole should be in Abuja. Or she did Yamo. I be Yabo. I be in Yamo. So, of course, a lot of people will be insinuating many, many things. What do you expect people to say? People just get to see something. Well, even the protesters themselves are hoodlums, criminals, and hung, hung, hungry people. What do you expect? Okay. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Then, if uh, the protesters are hoodlums, then what do we call the the politicians? <laughs> uh, just like uh, she already said one time, when uh, Osh Poppy was uh, arrested, and uh, Nigerians were saying a lot of things. People say, oh, she already said, we have a grandpa, big daddies of uh, Osh Poppy. They are dead. They are the ones spoiling this country. No matter what you want to say, it is the same, the same uh, politicians, the same so-called leaders. They are thieves. They are bigger thieves among them. Well, um, someone is saying that say, uh, please, who is with a matchet should light that a chopper a beg, no time to waste. Wow, hmm, I don't, I don't believe it. You don't believe what? Okay, uh, now the witch of a do fly the helicopter. So until now, the pilots and passengers are still not back. A do people who are strong. I wish other parts of this country were like a do light or uh, like a do light, whichever. When you put it, every federal government helicopter, hmm, take it down immediately. They have full soldiers, battle tanks, and helicopters, yet they have not been able to defeat these Eboko people. Please, people of Edo, let judgment start on those irrelevant and irresponsible politicians. Now, you want to run when he had caused Katakata? No way, never. Never allow the helicopter to go. Yes, yeah, so maybe, of course, it's not going to be far fetched from all these politicians. Now run, they don't, they run. Tinumbu uh, now, we don't know where they, they thought say uh, it's not uh, in town, but it's close to not being outside, uh, close to not being in the country. They could not shine a high very well. You have to shine it. That helicopter was used to bring ammunition to Boko and uh, Esme. Government, whoa, please do the needful. Ah, uh, put fire on it. Uh, that's what some people are just saying. There. The helicopter come to carry Oshomole. He knows the youth will definitely come for him. Hey! But say, Uluku, Iyamo, Abuja, where is he? What? Only God knows where he is. Oh, dear Lord, help us. So we don't need war in Nigeria. Oh, amen. Oh, these people that are supposed to, these, the so called leaders are incompetent. They are the ones causing all of this. Do you know that uh, these same Nigerians, they have endured for a very long time, but they failed to do the needful. They fail to do the needful. They are the ones causing all this problem. But do you know one thing? The protesters or the citizens are to be blamed again. They are going to be blaming them. So leave your comments, guys, below in the comment section. Let us know your thoughts on this.